guys, welcome back to my channel. I do have a special guest with me. This is my dog, Teddy. Except you probably won't recognize him because he did get a haircut. And so now he looks like a less, oh god, a less fluffy version. And he is the most loyal of all my pets. We have three cats and two dogs and Lucy is pretty laid back. She's my other boxer spaniel. And Teddy will sit outside my door while I film and I feel so bad because he just wants attention. So I let him in even though sometimes he whines. And uh, I wanted to film a little update on my project pan that I started in 2018. So I believe I filmed my project I called it my unofficial project pan of 2018 and I had mentioned that one of my subscribers, one of my friends here on YouTube had been like, you should really do a project pan and it'll probably motivate me to do a project pan and I was like, okay. I wanted to be like, do you know who I am? Do I look like I use up makeup? Just kidding guys. But um, yeah, I was like, sure, why not? Let me try it. There are some products that are so good. I wanna go back to them. I do wanna use them up. So I did go ahead and watch that video from 2018 and I looked up what the products were because some of them I couldn't remember. And I thought I'd just go through my list with you guys. So the first thing I mentioned was the Hourglass palette from 2015. And this is it right here. So this is their ambient lighting edit palette that came out. And I have actually made decent progress on this. I'm sure it's gonna be impossible for you guys to see on the screen, but it is actually pretty flat, especially the, what are these called? The ambient lighting powders. So like the iridescent, the dim light and the diffuse light are all pretty flat. The easiest way for me to use these is to just kind of swirl my brush and use it to set my face. I've also made a huge dent in the bronzer, which is the Luminous Bronze Light. This is such a beautiful formula. I love to wear this palette in the winter time. I really need to whip it out since we are literally in the middle of winter. I might use this to travel actually because it cuts down the amount of products I have to take with me. And I'm hoping I can make more progress on this in 2019 as well. I also have the palette from 2017. So of course, I wanna try and use stuff up. And then the next thing I had talked about in my project pan is the Skin Navia Makeup Finishing Spray as well as the Post Recovery Spray. I picked those up because there was so much hype about them on YouTube and I was so curious and so I bought them and I was actually able to finish both of those products up in 2018. I just wanted to use those up to get them out of my collection so I am happy they are gone and I will not be repurchasing those. And then the next thing I talked about was one of my favorite foundations and I honestly kind of forgot about this because I didn't finish it. It's probably still about one third full. And again, we are in winter now so this is the perfect time for me to use this up. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup for Face and Body. This is definitely full full coverage so if you're not a full coverage person like I am you're probably not going to enjoy this I think this foundation is epic I wish they would make more shades of this and I really like it so it's going to go on to my 2019 project I just now decided that there's going to be a 2019 project so obviously it's just going to carry over I'm clearly not very good at project panning but it's going to be a project and you guys are going to love it the next one is the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This is a drugstore foundation, and I wear the shade 211, which is Creme Cafe. I think this is more my summer shade. It's a little bit more tan. I used to really like this foundation. Recently, I did whip it out to try it, and I wasn't loving it, so I don't know if it was I was having like bad skin days or if it was the foundation, but I kind of was like... This isn't the foundation I remember loving, so I need to give this another chance, but I, the last time I used this, I felt like I was gonna declutter it. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, I don't feel bad moving things out of my collection if I'm not going to enjoy them or keep enjoying them. Life is too short to have bad makeup. That's one of my mottos in life. So just wanted to let you guys know that. And the next thing was the Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer. I actually ended up 
decluttering that with a lot of other primers that were in my collection. For some reason in 2018, I realized I didn't really need to wear a primer. I wear face oil every morning. It's the Juno face oil and it's very hydrating. It helps my foundation stick onto my face really well and I don't really need a pore filling primer at this time. So a lot of the primers I were using were more hydrating primers. And so I got rid of a whole bunch and I will probably film a video called Makeup I've Decluttered or Makeup I've Decluttered on Poshmark and just talk about some of those products. But that Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer is out of my collection now, thank God. <laughs> the next product is a few concealers. So I have the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that I was trying to use up. I pretty much finished all of it. There's a little bit left and honestly, that concealer was getting old and I just, again, tossed it. Same with the Tarte Shape Tip. I've used up almost all of it and I never really liked that concealer. So I'm happy it's out of my collection. And then the, no the last one that was in my project pan and it still is here going strong. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Ginger. I actually really love this concealer and it is actually the concealer I have on under my eyes today. So I'm going to continue to use this concealer and once I run out, I will definitely be picking up another one of these because I do love that concealer so, so much. Next is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I hit pan on that and it was getting gunky, it was getting old, and I have some other primers, so I did move that out of my collection as well, and I did go ahead and toss that. And then MAC Give Me Sun is still here, but I definitely made a significant dent on it. As you can see, it's pretty much flat. This is definitely gonna be one of my go-to bronzers this winter. I should still be using this, actually. I forgot about it because I got a new bronzer from BH Cosmetics, and I've been loving that one, but now that I'm filming this video, I definitely have this back on my mind to use up. Hopefully, in 2019, we can hit some pan and get this shit out of here. The next thing that was in my project pan was, was the Cover FX Perfect Pressed Powder. I have that thing in my collection up until a couple weeks ago. I knew I was never going to get through it. I have so many other powders in my collection that I love more than that one, so I actually ended up decluttering that on Poshmark. Somebody bought it and I'm so thankful that they got that out of here. The next thing I talked about was was this guy and this is the Becca Rose Gold highlighter and I have definitely hit pan on this and some weeks I try to use this all the time. I really 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 want to completely pan this and I feel like 2019 is my year to do that if I just focus and use it. The hard thing about project panning for a person like me is I love makeup. I love trying new things. So it is so hard for me to go back to some older products, but I am more determined this year to try the things that are in my collection. I have so much makeup I bought in 2018 that I haven't tried yet. So I think I'll be better in 2019 about cycling things through and hopefully, hopefully getting that finished up. The next thing is the NARS Casino Bronzer and usually I use this when I am very tan in the summertime. I think I forgot to use this in the summer. So I think I hit a little bit more pan. I expanded the pan but I haven't finished this up yet. So this will be my project this summer to get through that bronzer. I also had the Tarte Parte blush. It was a free blush that I got when as a birthday gift I think. And I tried to use it, but honestly, I don't love that blush, so I ended up, again, selling it with a bunch of other Tarte blushes I had on my Poshmark, so that was nice. And then the last thing I had in my project pan, my unofficial project pan of 2018, was a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Fringe. And I am so over ColourPop's Super Shock formula, so I pretty much sold all of my ColourPop Super Shock formulas for, like, pennies on Poshmark just to get them out of here and the only shade I kept was Colourpop's Telepathy which was one of their shades that they did with Kathleen Lights and mostly I kept that because people are obsessed with chartreuse especially at the end of 2018 so I kind of want to do a video showing you guys my favorite ch chartreuse shades um I don't know let me know if you guys would be interested in that but those are everything that was in my video from last year 
my unofficial project pan. Obviously, this isn't like, you know, the bane of my existence, so there is a lot of stuff that I didn't get through, but what I'm gonna do is probably towards the end of January film a new video, show you guys some new things I want to pan, as well as keeping some of these other products that I'm so close to finishing up. I know there's definitely some setting sprays that I need to use up in 2019, so I am very, very excited for that. Let me know what products you went through in 2018. If you guys have Project Pan videos, leave links down below. I would love to check them out. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful or entertaining. And yeah, let me know what your plans are for panning in 2019. Look forward to my 2019 project. Let's see how it goes. Okay guys, in the midst of all my blabbering, I forgot to update you on one more thing. Me and a couple of other YouTubers did collaborate and we are attempting to pan one of our favorite Pat McGrath palettes. So each one pretty much has a different palette. This is the one I chose. This is the newest one she came out with in 2018. This is Bronze Temptation, I believe. I love this palette so much. I have been trying my best to use this more. Again, one of the things with having such a, I don't want to say like, oh, I have such a big collection, but with having a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I'm such an eyeshadow palette junkie, it is hard for me to go back and experience palettes that I've already kind of played with and reviewed, but I do love this palette so, so much. And yeah, it's in my project pan. So this project will end October of 2019, um, but I just wanted to update you guys on that as well. So I will have a new video for 2019 not promising anything from you guys, but hopefully if you find project panning daunting like I do, that was my dog, we can all do our best and strive for better. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!